Hello, and welcome back to the 23rd level of Journey to Rooted Hold. We are making, I guess, uh, we made a, a good dent into this uh, already. Nothing too hard so far. Uh, somebody pointed out in the previous part that the music here is actually from Deep Spaces rather than from Mosaic Frost, and uh, yeah, I felt it felt a little bit strange last time, but I didn't um, didn't quite have it. I, I, I couldn't quite put my finger on it, I suppose. But yeah, Mosaic Frost does have its own music files, and I'm if I had to guess, it might be a Steam issue. Um, because the Steam install of this game seems to have a bunch of issues. Anyway, we have a problem. We have to get this mimic here within 30 turns. Not a particularly big problem. Within 29 turns, I guess. Because if I were to wait one more turn, it would... Uh, it would... Well, okay, what am I doing? It would grow before I can place the, the Mimic, is what I'm trying to say. There we go. And now we have... this Wraith Wing that we have to deal with. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard. I think... We can just kind of do something like that. <laughs> Get it pinned on the mud and then go all the way up here. Now I cannot do anything from this side, obviously. I have to start from here. Hmm. Oh right, this was silly. You can't get through there, so you have to actually wait over here. And in fact, you have to wait over here, I think... Yes, there we go, that'll do it. Uh, no. Huh. I don't remember... Obviously, I don't remember how to do this, but what I'm trying to do is... Right, okay, so I need to... Do something like that? Problem is... Problem is, I can't actually get in here. Okay, let's face this way. Face this way, speaking. Not working. Is it possible? Can, can I just rush? I can. But that doesn't do me any good. That's not going to work. Well, I need my sword facing this way when I go through. Unless I'm running through quicker. But if I run through quicker... I mean, I could try this. Nope. Still not working. Man, what is going on here? I don't remember... I don't remember this being an issue.
Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Just wait until they're stacked up. And then we get turn order. So this, uh, there's no rush here. Oh, let's just... Okay. This is easy to deal with. This one is hard because this is wider. So either we... Like, we're gonna have to use roaches to get more separation. Uh, I don't think that's actually gonna work. I think we have to do it this way. Slide this mimic over. Oops, don't make that mistake. Okay, there we go. Oh, there's no red door. Okay. For some reason, I was playing it as though there were. Well, that's gonna hurt my time. Eh, not as much as it could have. Now, we could get through here using the Mimic. That... I would say that's gonna... seems like a huge pain, but then I realized it's really not. There we go. Good enough. Uh, just a few wraith wings, okay. Three is a few, right? Unfortunately, we're facing the wrong way to hunt this one down. Uh, I guess this works. And here... Same kind of deal, except that it's easier to hit the sides of the room. Yep, good to me. Oh shoot. Let's, uh, let's do that smarter. That's kind of like smarter. The kind of thing I was trying to do. Okay, so I think I'm completely done the southern section then, including this room, because this one has to be accessed from here, and this one has to be accessed from here, I guess, then. Hmm. I think it does have to be accessed from here. Because we can't clear this room unless we've already been to it. Can't get to that room unless we've cleared this one. Okay.
Well, let's just kill all the brains. Not think about it too much. are making me a little bit nervous. Hmm. up. Uh, that will blow up all of those. Just trying to reduce the amount of work I have to deal with later. Oh, there's roaches in the middle. And here I thought that was going to very efficiently and neatly deal with all of them. But no. Alright, well that deals with this room. No problem really, just... Use Mimics to keep the goblins off of you. I, I probably wasn't actually talking about anything I was doing during that, was I? Hmm. Well, that's a lot easier when you can click on that instead of having to click on orbs to figure out which one does what. Alright, this looks like a Mimic turning puzzle. Place the Mimic here. Blows up. You know, this kind of widget here is really nice because you don't get the loud mimic hitting the orb over and over effect with this. It just kind of happens once. I guess nowadays we just use cracked orbs to get the same effect, but before cracked orbs were around, this was uh, this was pretty a pretty good way of dealing with it. So I can never have my sword facing this way. Is that really what I wanted to do? Something like that. And then just wait here for the serpent to get around. Cool. gonna kill me, isn't it? Nope, I'm good. Alright. So now I cannot have my sword face anywhere to the east at any time. To kill four more roach queens under those conditions. Uh, that's gonna kill me. It's not that bad. 
we just had a lot of roaches build up. There we go. That deals with all of those. Just hit that checkpoint. Okay, let's actually deal with those. Use those to split up the roaches in a good way. Do we have time to do this? No. Try it again. Okay, got there in time. Uh, let's just go down here. Let's do that smarter. Uh, I did not need to go back that far. Oh, that was dumb. Yeah, because now that's never going to work. This will work for sure. And one more time. Oh, that's um, a pretty neat application of the you no know, sword turning thing. Uh, if you don't know the Turn order and vertical preference, making it so they sometimes split on the pillars, then this could be a bit tricky, I guess. But honestly, um, as long as there are no challenges, I don't think, uh, aside from the entrance to this, apparently, uh, I shouldn't have too much trouble with any of these famous last words. Alright, so what's going on with this room? We have two Tar Mothers that are both isolated, it looks like. Two Mimic Potions, okay. First growth cycle, I have to put the Mimic here. Second growth cycle, I have to put a Mimic here. Ah, uh, too slow, okay. Uh, that worked. Okay. Uh, how do we want to? How do we want to do this? So you're going to grow. Oh, I can do that. You're going to grow. Suddenly paranoid that my cursor wasn't showing up, but I see that it is. Okay. Um. Hmm. Well, we don't have to worry about this end, because no tar babies are ever going to go in there. Even if this, like, expands infinitely, there'll just be a tar baby here and it'll be stuck forever. Like, it's never going to expand past this. So this is a trap for the Mimic, not for the tar babies. Probably it's just there for symmetry, if we're being honest, and maybe this direction. 
But the only, the only way this is going to mess me up is if the Mimic gets in there. As for up here and here, uh, I have to prevent Tar Babies from getting into both of those. Okay, what if I do this? And just don't worry about it. That's fine, because I can cut this, and then the act of cutting this will cause Tar Babies to go in both of these, but I can use my sword to block off one of them. That'll be fine. Okay, we're rushing to here. Uh, however, the mud's going to lock me out unless I do at least uh, that. Okay. Did I bump the wall? No, okay. That was sudden repeat. Yeah, because that'll expand down to there, but still be cuttable. I think that's fine. Yeah, I had a few turns to spare. Uh, wait. I have to kill this. So now I have to cut this before I get locked out of the mud forever. Also, I can never move diagonally uh, northeast or southwest, because then you lose your position. So we're just going to let the tar go in there. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, so as long as you don't get stuck, this we can deal with whenever. I think I think that's it. This is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight by six. Okay, that is most definitely not a cuttable shape. So we're gonna have to do something with the tar to make that better. That's, oh, not ideal, but... Because we cut the tar in a way I didn't want to up there. Okay, well, that's one, one part of this that I don't have to worry about anymore. Let's deal with the mud. Oh. Okay, well that's a four by four by six with a nub on it. Four by six is not normally cuttable, so with a nub it might be cuttable. It might not. Let's find out. Uh, let's just deal with the That's the way I'm going to have to cut that. Okay. That was not a good way to cut it. was really bad. Okay, now I have to do it from this side. Because I let it grow into the corridor. It's fine. Uh, 
I need you to separate. Because I can't... I can't stab this mud because of the mimic. That's annoying. Okay, there we go. Good, uh, that works. All right, because there's a char stuff gate here, so I do have to clear all of it. Inevitable dying at the end of the tar stuff cutting. I don't know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do at the end there. I'm just kind of messing around with stuff, and it wasn't quite doing what I wanted. Yeah. I I figured I screwed this up pretty badly at the end there. Uh, arrows there, that's interesting. Well, let's not worry about that just yet. Ah, wubbas. Okay, we have a wubba, a wubba maze, and it looks like we don't really get a choice uh -oh. as to how this starts. Maybe we could have messed with their turn, turn order there. Maybe. I think I've had a choice so far. I could have locked that Wubba out. See, the problem with this... I have to hit that. Now we just have to bring the Wubba back with us, that's fine. Because we do need we do need both of these wubbas, I'm pretty sure. So let's bring That's fine, doesn't matter if we get that. Bring the wubbas with us here. We've left one wubba here. Is that what we want? It's going to protect us. When we st when we hit this orb, this wubba will move here. And protect us from these roaches. Okay. I think that's what we want. Hmm. Well. Just do that. Hey, are you gonna cause a problem for us? Here? I can't go in there. There we go. So now we still have the two Wubbas on us. Uh, that's good because... Not good. 
can't have two Wubbas because we're going to have to back swipe or something. Okay, no, the Wubba just saved us because of turn order. Uh, Wubbas are one and two. Okay. All right, so let's look at that again. Right, okay, I'm safe because this Wubba is going to move first. I don't know if I needed to kill those or not. Uh, I would like to kill you. Uh, if I go in there though, this Wubba is definitely going to ca catch me. Is there a way... Hmm, if this is open... I'm pretty sure... I'm supposed to get the Wubba here, so that I can get you in here. But... Also, just do that. There's no scroll for not doing, not doing that. So I guess I won't worry about getting the webas into position then. Right, because with this webba here, I could have. You know what? I'm actually tempted. I think. I need a Wubba here, okay. You know what? I want to actually do this the way I think it was intended. Because I don't know if I've ever done it this way before. Oh, right. Roaches. roaches. Uh, pay attention to the roaches. Kill these first. go, Wubba's first. I could leave this Wubba here. That's where they're coming from. Okay, is there anything that I need that Wubba for? Just get it so the Wubba's not going to be stuck up there. Not that it matters. Uh, if I hit this, that toggles this. Okay, that's interesting. That closes that and opens this. Right, okay, so I'm supposed to use these together. To do something like that. from up here. Yeah, we've got our two Wubbas. Two Wubbas in here. And this lets us... Yeah, I think... I think that's the intended solution. Uh, 
unfortunate oversight on the part of the developers that you can just kind of skip past this Weba and get back here. Or maybe that wasn't an oversight. Maybe that's an alternate way to do the puzzle. Anyway, neat room. Uh, I do like having Wubba's used in this way. Really, Wubba's are almost always good. Uh, the only time I really don't like Wubba's is when you have massive hordes of them. But in small numbers, Wubba's are really interesting. Okay. Ah, that's where the potion is. Okay. I was like looking at this and it's like, I need a mimic in either here or here. Oh, right, these are brain roaches. All right. So now I have a tiny little space. Uh, push shift to lock the room so that you can't actually accidentally leave. I think this room is actually the reason that this feature was added to the game. Or at least it was one argument for it. So now we have to kill all of these brains using... Uh, using the brains as leverage. That's not going to work, is it? Because I need to be... I think that's where I want to start. Okay, well I'm kind of in the same spot I was in before. But now I can push my myself all the way over to the edge here. Maybe you should have killed this one. Okay, there we go. screwed that up because now I can't get anywhere.
Yeah, I would really like a checkpoint over on this side. This one doesn't seem as useful. So I need to be able to get to the other side of you. Okay. Alright, and then I got a little bit more. Vertical space here. It's fine, I can do that. That's fine. I can do this. Oops, and get up there. Sitting, press shift again to unlock. Kind of a kind of a messy room. Um, don't particularly care for that format. Okay, it just looks like a horde room there. Although not a whole lot of monsters. Another wreath wing room, okay. That was easy. And I guess that's the extent of it. The, the exit's gonna be up there, so we've got two, three more rooms to go, and then the exit, I guess. Oh, this. Ah, I remember this room. This was a pretty nasty one. You have to clear all the mud. But if this ever seals here, here, or here, then it becomes impossible. Uh, it becomes impossible to get in there and to clear the mud. Or to kill the Mud Mothers, for that matter. So let's just start up here. Ah, oh, right, and everything's going to be brained, which makes this even better. to do something like that, and that way it'll be completely safe up here. Now of course I, that, that killed me, but by getting a mud baby stuck in here I can prevent this from ever growing, because with three, three chambers and only two, two bodies, I'm just going to be spending so much time running back and forth between all of them trying to keep the mud under control. So if I can just jam up one of these by putting a baby in one of these corners in any of these sets of chambers, I can ignore that one, I can just have the Mimic stuck somewhere inside the other chamber, and then Ethro can clear the third fairly easily. Uh, let's actually kill all of those.
Uh, that's not gonna work, is it? Wait, what happens if I... Well, if I do that on 30, I'm gonna die. There we go. Clear one side, and then let it spawn on the other. That's the easy way of doing that. Alright, and that should... Pretty much solve this room, I think. Uh, I do need to keep the Mimic alive, because we have to double-stab the tar at the end. Now, all these rooms are different sizes. That does clear up that pretty nicely. And now I'm not gonna worry about what the what the mimic is doing. I'm just gonna Clear this out. Um, shoot. You almost got me there, brain. Well, you, um, you saved me at the end there, actually, is what, is what the brain actually did. to kill this mimic. Or not. Alright, not too bad. Uh, this is also one way. And one way again. Challenge, drop all trapdoors. Okay, I wonder if this is the challenge that Nintar was talking about. Apparently there's something nasty on this level. Last room I look at, of course. Munitions Depot. Uh, use only in case of emergency. Well, that serpent uh, is going to be pretty easily dealt with. I don't know why, looking at this, this feels very much like a temporal projection room. Uh, those don't come until way later in the series, but it feels like a temporal projection could have been set up here. Okay, so what's the deal with this? We have all these seep. No way to get to them, that is pit. All the way around them. So we have to blow up all of the bombs. Well, we have to blow up five of the bombs. We don't have to blow up this one. Uh, we do if we want to get the challenge, because then we have to be able to drop that trapdoor. Okay. We have six mimics, six bombs. We have to stab all of them for the challenge. Uh, every Mimic has to start on the checkpoint. Roach Queens cannot spawn anything, so they are... Well, I guess technically, technically on this tile they could, but for all intents and purposes, this is a no-spawn zone. These are all just monsters. The go goblins aren't going to be very threatening, they're kind of just stuck where they are. So really... Okay, we could backtrack. Get out if we wanted to. Really, what we're going to do, uh, that snake is just going to die eventually. Not too worried about it. If I had been faster, I could have kept this in place a little bit more. Again, doesn't matter, so I just need to leave a pattern there where I can drop all of the trapdoors. And... 
also be aware interesting these open door tiles they're not trap doors I guess because if they were trap doors I could drop them and cut the fuse by getting a mimic to light it and step off right away so what that means is that once I hit this or this or this I now have a time limit to get out Okay, that's going to be actually difficult with the uh, with the challenge. That means I can't just leisurely take out all the trapdoors on my way, my way out. I'm going to have to be racing the the bomb as I do it. Hmm. Okay. Well. You can take out this one safely. And this one safely. So let's start with that. The first few mimics I'm going to try to avoid dropping more trapdoors than I need to. Because I can like I'm not getting any records uh, on this particular run. Well, I mean, I'm kind of making things, I'm leaving a lot of work for the Mimic that's going to go here now, because that's going to have to clear all of this. I can also blow up this one safely. Okay, let's just drop like this entire quadrant of trapdoors and then hit this bomb. I think that would be not unreasonable. So that serpent still being alive kind of irritates me. It's not not a serious problem, but it's just something that eventually I'm going to have to deal with. So what's my plan here? Coming back up this way, I'm going to go in here, come around. Uh, do I want to cut off all of this? Uh, another thing to consider is that if I'm going to drop this trapdoor, like if I'm, if I'm leaving this trapdoor for last, uh, I think I actually want to reset everything. Okay. If this is the last, if this is the last bomb that I'm hitting, then that means that I need to have a path going to here. My my main path that Bethro is going to take through this room. Hold on. Uh, I can have B throw in here before I hit this bomb. Because there's no seep here. I do have to hit all of these before B throw moves into this chamber. Uh, looking at the time, this is probably something I should actually just be doing as its own episode, because it looks like it's going to take a while. It doesn't look that hard, it's just going to be a little bit fiddly to set up, is my initial impression. But I think, yeah, no, I think I think that's that's um, 
a good assessment regarding the time on my part. So we're going to leave it here. And we're going to do this with the challenge uh, next time. I will see you then.